So, in this video, I wanna talk about what's been going on over the past two months, but really what's happened over the past two years of my life and what it's taught me about slowing the fuck down. So if you are lucky enough to have found something that you really care about, something that you're passionate about, something that you're willing to dedicate your life to, you know that the lines blur between your personal life and your work life. When you find that one thing that you really are willing to focus and dedicate on, it's hard to say no to it. And that's what happened when I found filmmaking over 15 years ago, and more specifically when I started making original films on this channel. Yeah. In the beginning, I was grinding because I had to. But eventually, I was doing it because I thought I had to. I uploaded my first video two years ago. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Matt Diavella. I'm a documentary filmmaker, and this is my new YouTube channel. When I made that video, I didn't have a grand plan or vision. I had no idea where it was gonna take me. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. I just asked myself one question. If I could do anything right now, regardless of money, what would I do? If I won the lottery, and you can do this yourself, imagine yourself right now, you won the lottery, you've got millions of dollars in the bank account, what do you do with your life? Do you continue to do what you're doing right now? If you say yes, that's amazing, congratulations. If you say no, then I think you need to start thinking about where you wanna take your life. And that's exactly what I did. I said, okay, listen, this is, I mean, I'm happy. Like I, I was living a great life. I was a freelance filmmaker, but I said, I wanted another challenge. I, if I truly had all the money in the world, I wouldn't continue to make films on a freelance basis. So I took my first step. I started a podcast, made videos, created content for every social media platform. This is something new. I'm not sure where to look. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. While simultaneously creating films for my freelance clients. It was an all out sprint and I didn't see much progress early on. And then I would say it was about six months into it that I completely stopped client work. And that's where shit got really serious. <laughs> that's when I realized, okay, I have a finite amount of time because right now I was conservative with it. I saved up enough money to give me some, some space, some, some time that I wouldn't have to stress out about money. But still, if a year went by and I didn't start make, if I couldn't start making money from this, then I would be in big trouble and I would likely have to quit and go back to doing freelance. So that meant I had to work my fucking ass off. I had to work really hard. I had to put my head down, make podcasts, connect with people, network. I had to start making more and more videos. I was dedicated to making this work. And then I had my first video truly take off, which was a video called My Minimalist Apartment. When we have more guests over, we bring out the paper plates. But lucky for us, we don't have any friends. I had never seen a video take off in the way that this one did. Eventually it hit a million views and it became simultaneously more fun and more stressful. So it was more fun because I started to realize I can do this, this is happening. I'm gonna be able to make a career out of this. But then it was more stressful in that I felt like when am I gonna stop? I remember having a conversation with Natalie. We were sitting up late one night and she couldn't understand why I was feeling this way. She was like, well, isn't it just all great? And then it just clicked with her. She's like, oh my God, you have to do this forever. <laughs> like you can't stop. You have to make a video every week. You have to make a podcast every week. And that's how I felt. And in the same way, a lot of people get caught up in the rat race of the nine to five, it's just as easy to get caught up in the rat race of being an online creator or a freelancer or running your own thing. Once you've found success, you think the only way to keep it is to continue to work your face off. Check one, two, this is a test. I'm super fucking tired. I wouldn't say I was close to burning out, but I was definitely heading in that direction. As I look back over the past two months when this channel saw an insane amount of growth, I was essentially putting out an eight minute documentary every Monday. There wasn't one weekend I didn't work. The most difficult part of all is that I love my work. It fuels me and inspires me more than anything. But keeping up this pace, this all out sprint was never a part of the plan. 
And it takes stepping back and looking at the big picture to realize that you can slow down. This doesn't mean that you or I need to stop caring about the work we do. It means we understand that there are things that aren't worth sacrificing, like your health and sanity. You can't forget them because that's the whole reason why we do this, to be able to have a balanced life, to be able to have autonomy and freedom. And if you let yourself become your own worst boss, then you're gonna burn out and you're not gonna be able to maintain any amount of consistency with the work you create. Thanks for watching. Learn how I make my videos, get useful tips on living a balanced life, and support this ad-free YouTube channel at patreon.com slash mattdiavella. It's because of patrons that I'm able to slow down, create more intentionally, and make films full-time. Thanks so much for your support. So I'm not even joking, I just bought this gray backdrop, and then I set everything up, the lights, the camera, tweaking, doing all this work, and then I did a test shoot, and I realized that I bought the same color backdrop as the only t-shirt that I have. So when I did the test, I was literally just a floating head on the screen. It didn't look good. So I just put the hoodie on, problem solved.